Shut the door, buddy. Thanks. All right. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for coming. Um, basically, today I wanted to get together. We, well, we haven't had a, an official boosters meeting yet. Um, the boosters is just a, a parent group to support the kids um, with music, um, help us get everything done that we need to get done. Is it on me? Yeah. Go ahead and adjust it. Um, a way for us to get organized and assign tasks for people to do to make it successful. Obviously, I can't do everything myself. Um, and I found the more help I can get from, par from parents, the, the, the better, most, more things we can achieve. And I, we've got great help. Uh, I'm very happy with all the parent help we've got. So uh, if you couldn't make it tonight, I get it. It's, it's hard driving back and forth. It's, it's late, it's raining and all that. Uh, but thank you for watching the video. Um, and if you have any questions, please um, message us on Parent Square or email me and I'll be sure to address it from then on. Um, I, I chose it kind of last minute too, I apologize for that. Well, let me, I do a lot of things last minute unfortunately lately. Um, I'm trying to correct that. There, there's just a lot on my plate and uh, I need to catch up and get ahead. Um, I think over winter break I'll be able to do that, but we're, we're on track, you know, you're not hearing a lot from me, but everything is, there's a lot of things behind the scenes going on to make it great. So, um, also I wanted to mainly talk about the concert. You know, it's Tuesday, we're gonna need some help with a lot of different things. Um, one thing is I would like someone to make a simple program for us. Uh, just one page, you know, on computer. Um, basically gonna have the, the list of the tunes with the composers and the list of the kids. And obviously I'll give you all the information, you could just copy and paste it into there and you don't have to print them. Um, set them up to be black and white, and I'll, we'll make the copies here. Hey, how's it going? We just started, so it's cool. Thanks for coming. Um, so, that would be great um, if someone could make the program. Uh, another thing that we're going to need help is hauling equipment. Now, that's always the trickiest thing with having concerts off campus. Basically, we've got a ton of percussion equipment. You know, the drum set, the big timpani drums, the bass drum. Um, luckily, we don't need any marching drums. Uh, and then the other big thing is chairs. We need to bring our own chairs, at least for the band. The, the venue has a lot of chairs, but that's for the audience. So we, we always bring pretty much all the blue band chairs we have. Uh, well, obviously, that takes up a lot of room as well. And then the four carts of music stands. So that's also tricky. Now their uh, beginning band is planning to do their concert, actually the same day, unfortunately, right after school or at 3.30. Um, so if anybody has kids both in beginning band, fifth grade beginning band, and any of our bands, um, it would be super if you're available to take the stands from their concert to our concert. Is that not recording no anymore? Battery no battery. Oh, it's got 20. It should be fine. I'll put it on low power mode. So, um, it would be super cool because I think, he, you know, he's going to need the stands too. So, rather than coming back and forth, if someone could do that, or if someone can just wait till they're done, I believe they're done at 4.30. You know, we're not going to start till 6. So, if they can handle the stands, that'd be great. Um, it might be worth looking into getting a U-Haul because there's, it's possible that it might rain and it would just help us out with that. Or if anybody has access to a truck, that would solve the problem right there. So please let me know right away if you are A, just available to help hauling stuff, even if it's just in your van, in your car, I mean, every little bit helps. Um, if everybody in the band took one little thing, we would be fine. Unfortunately, not everything's little. Um, the marimba we've got covered. The timpani drums, you know, we could put those in my truck. Um, so let me know if you're available to bring stuff or help loading and unloading. Or let me know if you've got a truck or you've got access to a big truck. Um, pretty soon, in a day or two or three, I'll put together an official Parent Square sign-up sheet 
where you can sign up to help. You know, we'll need people before the concert. Um, we'll probably start bringing stuff over there as soon as. I'd like to start at least loading about 2:30, so people, if they're available at 2:30, um, that's possible. To, you know, sign up for that. Um, so keep an eye out for that coming up. Um, we'll need help setting up and unloading in to bring it into the venue. Uh, luckily, we can pull up pretty close. It's not too far of a walk. There's no stairs or anything, but it takes a lot of time to unload the cars and set everything up because there's going to be sound checks we need to do it in a rather quick manner so we'll need you know two three four five ideally the more um, to get that done um, we're going to block off an area of the seating for the students uh, it's always nice to get a person or two to kind of sit there and help with that um, but this year we don't have any fourth grade percussionists and they're usually the rowdiest ones. So it should be pretty easy. Kim, you're always really good at that. I know you like <laughs> to do that job. So Kim, if you're available to sit and keep the students from being noisy or, and that kind of thing, that would be wonderful. Uh, another thing is there's gonna be a couple set changes, you know, it, transitioning from jazz band to concert band and wind ensemble and such, we'll need to move a bunch of chairs and stands and equipment. Uh, the faster the better, so if I can enlist a few guys and gals to help me with that, I don't know, Jared, you've already, you know, I already asked you, you down. Um, I'm gonna draw a couple really specific maps of, you know, there's gonna be four rows, each row, how, much, how many chairs, how many stands, and all that. So keep an eye out for that as well. So that's it on the concert, and then also we are doing a lot of, we're gonna try to fundraise. So let's talk about the fund, um, let's just do it this way. So with the events, now we're talking jazz band, with the events we've got going on, I think I haven't been able to really get a solid number, but I think it's gonna be about $100 a kid for students that are in jazz A band, and about maybe $75 a kid for kids that are in B band, probably for the year. Um, that's for the two jazz festivals we're doing. I'd like to bring in a guest clinician to come work with our kids. That's probably going to be about 150 bucks to get someone really good to come in for a few hours. Uh, I'd like to do a concert. Uh, I looked, looked around a little bit. Um, I saw Gallo on March 8th has the Modesto Symphony playing Disney music. Um, it's not jazz, but that would be super cool. I don't know if anyone's ever been to the Gallo. Um, you know it's an amazing venue and the Modesto Symphony Orchestra is pretty special. So, and maybe we can do two things if it's, if it's right, because those of us, we've been to live events, we see what it does. It, it just lights a spark in the kids. It is so important. Uh, and that's one of the big things we get out of going to Reno, um, unfortunately this year. We're not doing that, so that's gonna cost some money. Um, and then we're looking into doing a concert in the park or something like that at Great America and or Six Flags where we go and we play there and then the kids get to get, so we play music there and then the kids get to play there as well. And then, do you know anything else about that? I, yeah, the kids perform in the morning uh, at a venue that's near the park. Okay. Uh, so parents would need to, you know, get their kids there mm -hmm. um, and be, be there. Um, to do all that to get the kids around and then the kids have tickets for Six Flags all day And then there's a time when they go back to the venue and then their and adjudicators also talk to um, Great. The band yeah, they have yeah, a do yeah, it's very apparently very organized and then you go back And then it's kind of like Reno where they then they announce the top you know, all the different categories and all the top the winners oh, those So are yeah, it, it's it seems like it's a pretty organized thing and obviously be a very long day but it would only be one day. Local. Parents can, it's local, it's only a couple hours, so parents can Simple. drive there, bring their kids home, so it simplifies things a lot as far as logistics. Okay, so that, that's definitely worth looking into. I know Karen Moe is looking into that, maybe. I think it's less than $70 per, per uh, kid. Per kid. Okay, so you know, obviously we have to lock down these things and then we'll come up with a number, but there's, there's money uh, we're gonna try to fundraise to offset these costs. So that's my segue into what we've got going on 
for the winter cluster. Now we already had our bake sale a couple weeks ago. It was a great success. Um, we're gonna do another one of those. Um, Allison, do you wanna talk about the fundraising we have planned for the concert? Sure. Our um. president <laughs> of the boosters. This is Allison Carter, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, so um, we've done this before. So if you're, um, if, you've, if you've been around for a little while, you, you probably know the drill. Um, I've tried to simplify things a little bit by taking money out of the hands of the um, people selling desserts. So if you want to bring a dessert, it needs to be individually packaged, individually wrapped. Um, and then you need to include just a piece of paper that has the ingredients on it. This, is, this comes from administration just so that if pe there's allergies, people are aware of what's in there. Um, and then you're gonna need to um, fill out, there, there's gonna be a drive document sheet, um, which is just a little, a little form that Mr. Fiorio will send you digitally. Um, it'll just come in Parrot Square. And you'll click on that and you'll write your name, how many items that you're gonna be bringing. And um, please fill that out so that I can prepare for you. And then when you come, you're gonna set your desserts up in a little area and there'll be a little Tupperware container in front of it with a little hole. People will buy tickets and they'll put a ticket and take a dessert. So we'll just need some parents to stand behind the dessert area and just monitor to make sure that people are putting their tickets in and to, to answer any questions that may, may, they may have, but they won't be handling money. So we also will need somebody who can um, sell tickets. So they'll just need to sit at a table and a dollar a ticket. All the desserts are just a dollar. So portion them accordingly. <laughs> you wanna make money, not lose money. Um, I think it's pretty easy for me to make, you know, $50 um, just by making some almond roca, putting in little baggies, sells out like that. Uh, so it's, it's pretty, like as far as I'm concerned, it's easy money. Um, but only participate in if you want to, it's totally your choice. And then the other thing that you can do to earn money for your child to go in your child's account is um, a, a gift basket or a basket. Um, I've been asked no alcohol, so no wine. You know, that's a popular one. Um, but put together a gift basket. Again, you're going to see a, a, a link. So click on that Google link so that you can fill out ahead of time what's going to be in your basket and if you have a name for it and who the money will be credited to. Um, once that gift basket sells. So it's gonna be silent auction. Uh, so I will, you will have a number, and when you bring your basket, you're gonna, just gonna bring it the night of, you're gonna set it up in, behind your number, and you'll already know that. So you set it up, make it look nice. You're gonna have a little Tupperware, uh, no, I'm sorry, not Tupperware. You're gonna have a little uh, a sheet in front for the silent auction. And um, I, we haven't talked about a minimum amount I know there was some talk about having minimums, okay. like starting amount. I mean, I think that that's something that I don't think that we had starting amount. So, oh well, people individually can state what they want their minimum to be. Like, um, uh -huh. you know, I don't want this to sell for any less than twenty bucks. If it's a lot of expensive stuff, maybe uh -huh. that way, you know, if someone put a lot of money into it and uh -huh. it sells for three bucks, I, you know, you'd be upset, but. Yeah, so I, I, I think people should be able to state their own minimum, maybe? Mm -hmm. It's obviously not my department, but it's my two cents on that. Okay, so state a minimum amount that you are wanting to get for it, and um, people will just write down their, their bids, and the highest bid will take it. And then we'll, we're gonna need people to kind of monitor that area and run it. So we're looking for a lot of volunteers, and um, so be looking for something in Parent Square to help with that. And that's all we have going on. And right there, you could you could earn all the money that your kid needs for this year as far as that hundred dollars, you know, from the things that I see so far that we're doing. So uh, but if not, there'll be other opportunities to fundraise. So don't feel like you have to. It's just an opportunity. Thank you. Anything else? Um, not yet, but you know, pass on. Yeah, that uh, so the, those two things at the concert are a great way to do money. Um, the silent auction last year was very successful. Um, so, you know, if you can, you know, to put in something like that, help offset the cost. But, you know, obviously it's completely up to you if you want to partake in those. All right. Um, another thing I would like is to have somebody help look for concerts and things like that. It takes, takes some time 
to search around for something locally. And, but that's, it doesn't take up too much time. So if you're looking to help the band out and you got maybe just want to give a couple hours, uh, you can go on the computer and just Google a bunch of what jazz events are going on. And if you can send me a list of what you think sounds good, that would help me. Um, mm -hmm. You know, like I always say, the more time I can spend with my time on the musical stuff, the better for the band. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm spread pretty thin, but boy, with all the help I've been getting this year, it's, it's allowing us to do some pretty special stuff. So if you're interested uh, in looking for events to do, that would also, that would be wonderful. Or, I mean, uh, things for the kids to go see and hear. So you can look, I looked up at the Gallo, um, I think it only goes to March. The problem is it's hard to find stuff that's, you know, we're looking for like springtime stuff. Uh, it's hard to find stuff that ahead. But if you can do that, that'd be great. Or, or local colleges. Sometimes we'll bring in a guest artist to play with their jazz band. That would be cool. Uh, another thing we need help with is someone just to, to do a, ja uh, a music or jazz newsletter once a month. Just something really simple. You know, we can get a template online um, to, just to write what's what's going on, what's coming up, and we can do it digitally, we can include a video of the jazz band playing or whatever, uh, just to keep everyone in the loop and something fun, I think that would be really good. So anyone with some, some computer, basic computer skills uh, and some time that would like to do that, we'd really, really appreciate it. Uh, I know we, meant, we mentioned that in the beginning of the year and no one's really jumped forward and said they want to do that, so please jump forward and say you want to do it. Um, Back to other stuff that we got going on. We've got the, we're, we're talking about though what we've talked about so far. Fun stuff, um, bowling night. Sounds like a lot of fun. I know kids would really like to do this. Now this, we wouldn't even necessarily have to do it out of their account. You know, we could just set something up and then kids can bring cash or whatever. Our parents can send them with cash. Uh, if someone wants to look into kind of heading that up, looking into how much it would cost for Fun Zone in Manteco or something out here in Modesto. How much would it cost? Can we rent out a bunch of lanes and put it, or do they have packages together? If someone would like to look into that, that would be wonderful. Maybe over winter break, maybe just um, a Friday night or something. So there's that. Um, also the snow day, we've talked about the snow day. Obviously we're gonna have to plan it, uh, maybe we could pick a day and hope that there's snow and then have a backup day in case there's not. But I would like someone to take charge of organizing the snow day. Okay, we've talked about that in the past. If basically, um, maybe like a Saturday or, or if we have a Monday off of school or something like that where we can all go up, you know, to one of the closer places that's got a, where we can go in one big large area and kind of block it out for us and a do some- A little more closed when I call. And I called Del Oso. Oh, you're already on. And they said that they don't do groups, groups unless there's several hundred. They will <laughs> not give a discount. Yikes. Well, so I'd rather do it up in the mountains anyway. I know it's oh, okay. Yeah, well, I know some people were concerned about getting all the kids up there and how we would do that and how many yeah, kids have to would carpool. be there. We'd have to, we'd have to get <laughs> carpools. Um, okay, well, thanks. I, thanks for looking at that. It'd be good to know, like, an amount of kids if we really wanted a definite. Yeah. Amount on the discount, though, is what I'm getting. Okay, so maybe should I send out a survey to everybody who'd be interested maybe, in doing yeah, it? Maybe, yeah, because they always ask, how many kids? Because that's how they equate the discount. Like, the more people you have, you get a better discount for some mm -hmm. of these folks. Okay. Yeah, and then we can we can put that together. Let me just take note of that right now. So those are the, the two fun things. If I have an amount of kids, I don't mind calling those places back. I printed out about 12 different places that I was calling on. Some were, uh, a couple of them were free, I would say two or three. Um, obviously snow dependent, and then the yeah. other ones you had to pay. Okay. <clears throat> Some of them you also have to pay to park to get in. Okay. Well, and then and then also in the survey I'll have a question if, if this is something you even want to do. Yeah. Um, if, if people don't want, I, I think it would be a lot of fun. You know, it's, it's kind of like team building. Um, the more things we can do as a band, it really, really adds a lot. And it makes them sound better. Believe it or not, it has nothing to do with music. But that kind of stuff, it, it does. Makes them um, and, and that's one thing, you know, the first Reno trip we did, 
it was the year we got a ton of rain and snow. Um, when we went up over the pass, we always have lunch at, at Donner, and there was a ton of snow, and the kids, you know, we were only playing around for like a half hour, but they loved it. You know, it's a great, it was a great way to kind of just have fun and bond before we went and performed. Um, so that's why I thought of that, and I asked the kids, you know, when we, when we found out we weren't going to do Reno, I was like, would you guys like to do something at the snow or the beach? And they were all like, snow. So, <laughs> but if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Uh, but I'd really like it to, and believe me, the kids would too. Um, does anybody have a good camera to take video at the concert? I know Elmer Arazo has a camera, and he's done well. And he did it uh, not last year, but the year before, took a bunch of great videos. Um, you could just set it on a tripod so you don't have to sit behind it the whole time. But ideally, it's great if you could kind of pan it a little bit and zoom in on the soloist or with something with a decent camera. Although I know I talked with Mr. Potter. He said they have something they might be able to lend us. Yeah, and you uh, said they have a pretty good um, camera microphone, like microphone. microphone now. But maybe we can get an, an, an adult to do the camera part rather than Yeah, is kid. Mr. Thumb coming? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't think we need them for the sound. Actually, uh, it's just two mics. Are you going to use the yeah. assembly sound system? Yeah. Uh, Doesn't seem like it. Uh, but and we only need them for just solo mics. It's nothing. Nothing crazy. And we, if we had to, we can get away with one. There's not a lot. There's no singing. It's always the singing that gets crazy. Mm -hmm. um, so. So that. Um, keep the kids away from the. Uh, the um, the microphone, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I don't want to talk <laughs> yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was bad. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. Flashbacks. Yeah. yeah. So we need someone that, if anyone's interested in that, please let me know. Um, I'd also like to do formal pictures rather soon uh, where we can set it up with somebody who can come and take pictures of the band as a whole. And maybe we can do nice pictures individually with the kid with their instrument if you'd like to put together a package. Think like soccer pictures or baseball pictures. Uh, I'd like someone to do that. There's also a photographer at GBA who I think does the sports ones. Maybe they can, we can get in contact with her. Someone told me, what's... Uh, uh, Donna? Donna. They, yeah. Or we can just find a on. photographer who would do it. So if anyone would like to head that up, there's another small thing that helps us out a lot. Um, so if you're interested in helping out with that, please let me know. Um, I already talked about the people to help out with the, with the stage and the setup. Definitely need that. Uh, another fundraiser down the line I'd like to do again, um, which Christine really made happen last year, was the, the Jamba Juice. I know we can do that once a year. Yeah. I'd like to do that again when it gets warmer. We oh, can and do then it the more than um, once if we need to. What? Oh, I thought they. I thought they said we can only do it once a year. No. Oh, they that was told Chipotle. me they were so happy with us that oh, really? we could get more cards and we could do more than one fundraiser. I love those things. We yeah, made, they we were made really happy with us. Money. If we're pretty much not doing much. Yeah. Uh, and then we did a Chipotle dinner last year, which is very successful as well. With that, oh, or yeah, over five hundred bucks or something. Oh yeah, and that was kind of gave me a reason to get out of the house. So. <laughs> yeah, good. basically, you go into Chipotle and you just give them a piece of paper saying that it's for the band, and they what they give you half the money or something like that. Mm. Wow. So yeah. there's another there's another way to fundraise. We don't want anyone to feel like being in band is is super cost costly you're already paying enough to rent the instruments and, and the reeds and all that so we don't want to add to that by having all these events but so any way that we can help with that we can um, is that everything I had going on today I think so is there so Allison our president would you like to address anything yeah um, you're gonna be sending out that little blurb I had that kind of goes over what I just went over tonight because I really Did want... Did you email that to me? Yes, I emailed it to you. Okay. So I really want people to, ahead of time, if you decide that you're going to be doing a basket, please go to that form and fill that out so that I know ahead of time exactly, you know, I'm not trying to deal with it the night of. Uh, because you're just yes. going to bring your own gift basket and when you walk in, you might not even be able to find me. I might be running around. 
So you should be able to have all the information you need to just go ahead and put it right on the table next to your number, which mm -hmm. will be on the drive document. Whatever line that you fill, if you fill out number five, line number five, you're gonna be number five. So I'll have it all ready for you, but you have to fill that form out ahead of time. Same with the desserts. I'll have a little Tupperware thing for you to people for people to put your tickets, their tickets in. The tickets are how we're gonna keep track of your money. So, you know, I need to have that Tupperware thing and I won't know to have one ready for you unless you fill that form out ahead of time. So that's it's digital, so it super, should be super easy. And then we're gonna need people to run that. So maybe if you can include, we're gonna need, I don't know how many, Karen would probably have a better idea of how many people we need realistically. Um, we're not doing a 50-50. Oh, I thought maybe that might be a good idea to do. I forgot about that. We have to have people to do it. So it, yeah. if I have people that, that sign up, that then great. But I, right now I don't know. Yeah. I know well, I know how a couple out. people jump in to help with desserts. Yeah. Um, but I don't know with the baskets, raffle baskets, I'm going to need some people to step up because I can't do that by myself. And then I'll need somebody to sell tickets. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to have uh, maybe like, a, 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 you know, the t-shirt sales, that could probably be lumped with the ticket sales, same table, I would think. Or even do that kind of as like a silent raffle kind of thing too, maybe even. So another, so what we're saying is we, we, we have some excess t-shirts that we, I ordered extras in case there were issues, um, so we can sell those off. Anybody, if you, if there, if you didn't get a shirt or a sweatshirt, or if there's any issues, let me know by, by now. Um, I think we're all good, but um, yeah, basically, you know, to try to make it as easy as you can for our volunteers who are, give, you know, donating their time to, to make it right for if you're dropping off dessert and stuff, you know, please fill out the form like they asked. Um, you know, it's really important, you know, we're, we're doing this for you guys to save some money. So do what, you know, please read the directions and do that as, as we, as it's supposed to be done. Uh, and, and sign up for, sign up and help. Okay, It's going to take a, a, a group effort for us to make this possible. Yeah, There's nothing worse than not having enough volunteers and it turning into a giant headache yeah. for the people who did it. Um, and we could have a, like an early and a late shift. So if you sure. sign up for something, you're not yeah. locked into it the whole night. We just yeah. do two shifts. Yeah. So you could do just a, an hour for the early, hour for the later. I don't know exactly how long it would be, but. And the, and the way that room is, you could stand anywhere in that room and still see where we're playing. So if, if you're doing, you know, if you're at a bake sale booth or whatever, you're gonna be able to, to see your kid perform just fine. Uh, and, and I think for that stuff, maybe we'll have like maybe three intermissions, 20 minute or 10, 15 minute intermissions in the show, time to go buy your dessert. Time to go do another round of um, the auction. So it's it's not the whole time during when the kids are playing. I like that. Do idea. you have an MC? Uh, no, I don't have an MC. I was just gonna talk uh, talk about the music stuff, but if we need to, you need someone to talk to what? Just say now it's time to do. Uh, the you've you've had or... kids you've had kids do things like the silent auction. You've had kids that have announced that before. Um, you've had some of my leadership kids, Tanisha yeah. So, uh, yeah, I and know. Crystal. They're uh, not here anymore. I was thinking if there's one person that would probably would, would be good, we can talk about it, is maybe Kira um, or someone. I don't know. We, yeah. We'll, if you want to do a kid or we can get a parent or, or, um, you, or how about you do it? <laughs> Me? Do you think I'm going to have time? I will if I have time. Well, it depends time. on what you. It, well, I don't know exactly what you're planning on doing for. I know you got for the silent auction. Out. Well, the silent auction you usually do. Do we really announce? We don't really announce because it's not a raffle. It happens. So that's yeah. not a big deal. Yeah. yeah so I, I guess you don't really need anybody. Um, I mean, I can make announcements. You guys. Yeah. So I'm really good. great on the mic, right? You are. <laughs> you are a rock star. <laughs> and you're funny. Oh, really? You're funny. Funny, like, stupid yeah. things I do. Or, or he's good at picking people to do things, too, if they need to be done. What? <laughs> when you. you announced, oh, and we're going to have so-and-so do this. <laughs> oh, oh, we are? Okay. I volunteered somebody. I think, I, I, think I got on you for hovering around that. No. <laughs> <laughs> you did. It's hysterical. I still laugh about that. Yeah, I was just messing around. I'm not bidding on anything. Driving up the price. <laughs> Well, uh, I thank you guys for coming. Allison's, are, are we forgetting anything? So basically, we got a lot of emails coming to you. 
So I know what I'm doing tomorrow on Saturday. Um, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Christina. Sorry, Catalina. Uh, but see, this is why I need help, you know, because I don't want to spend all of my what little free time I have away from my family. So I really appreciate you guys coming here and you guys showing me that you want to help um, be a part of this. It's it's your kids' this band. Um, and, and I tell you what, they, they, they get so much out of this program. You know, and I, and I kind of do run it like a high school program, um, which I think is even better, you know. A lot of middle school programs are kind of just, eh, they play music, it's kind of like whatever. Um, I have a lot of passion for, for providing an amazing musical experience that they'll remember forever, so everything that you guys do just adds to that. So thank you for being here, thanks for watching. If you watched this whole video, I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, so thanks guys. Let's go home. Any questions? Uh, what are the kids going to wear when your concert? So, uh, thank you. Jazz A wears their black, concert black with blue ties. Um, I'll need to get the ties to the, I think there's like four or five kids who are new to Jazz A this year. The rest were in it last year. Okay. Jazz Combo will switch to red ties when they go up to perform. So I guess we'll have to retie ties. Uh, hopefully, have your kids pre-time. I always have like 10 kids come up to me. Did you feel you can tie my tie when I've got like 10 things going on? So <laughs> tie your kids tie and send it with them or whatever. Maybe um, we need to have a volunteer that's just there. To <laughs> <laughs> That'll be a job. Keep your eyes open for Parent Square yeah. tie tying. Uh, <laughs> sign up. Tie tying. Um, and then, <laughs> so Jazz B, they can wear just nice clothes, I'm not picky. But if you have to go out and buy something for Jazz B, I would recommend buying them something that's black because chances are if, if they're doing what they should be doing, they'll probably be in Jazz A next year. So that way you won't have to go out. Cause you know, I like all black for, for Jazz, but uh, it's kind of late to make you guys all go buy something now. So just nice clothes. Uh, and then kids who aren't in any of the Jazz bands, also just nice clothes. The entire. Any other questions? Okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you.